Well, we begin this morning with an update on the fire scorching in northern Arizona. Evacuations are still in place as the pipeline fire began Sunday morning just west of Schultz Pass and it had burned approximately 4,000 acres by late Sunday night. But now it's over 5,000 acres and 0% contained. Fire crews were anticipating more moderate winds Tuesday and throughout the week, which could help them get a better handle on the blaze, but instead made a run into the wilderness area and toward a lava dome volcano. Roughly 2,500 homes have been evacuated because of two wildfires burning on the outskirts of Flagstaff. One home and a secondary structure have burned. Meanwhile, hundreds of other people in California and New Mexico have also been forced to flee homes threatened by other wildfires. So with that, right now, more than 125 million people across America are under excessive heat warnings and millions more face the threat of critical fire risk in the southwest. This as the entire Yellowstone National Park has been shut down by multiple life-threatening hazards. Meredith Wood has the latest. More of the hills just gave. Danger at Yellowstone National Park, turning tourists away. All entrances to one of America's most popular outdoor vacation spots have been temporarily closed for at least the next two days. Unprecedented rainfall has rivers rising to record-breaking levels and is unleashing life-threatening mudslides and massive rock slides. Park officials warning on Facebook, quote, effective immediately, no inbound visitor traffic will be allowed into the park until conditions stabilize and the park can assess damage to roads and bridges and other facilities. To the southwest, Mother Nature's fury is being felt in the form of fire. The sheep fire in Southern California's Angeles National Forest has led authorities to issue mandatory evacuation orders. And the pipeline fire near Flagstaff, Arizona, forcing hundreds of households to flee the fast-moving flames, Thousands more have been told to prepare to evacuate at a moment's notice. Kind of um, a little anxious, restless at times, a little um, afraid. Uh, earlier when I saw the smoke coming, I was a little bit terrified. I'm Meredith Wood reporting. Thank you, Meredith. Meanwhile, authorities don't know yet what started the Northern Arizona fire, but a man who was camping near where the fire was reported Sunday was cited a day earlier for lighting toilet paper on fire in violation of a year-round fire ban in the area. You can see him being taken in right here. Despite this, though, authorities do say he is not charged with starting the wildfire.